Hi, I'm Nicola. I'm going to do a makeup look for you today. Enjoy. So I've used this Clinique foundation and concealer in one. It's perfect, perfect when you're going on holiday because it's two in one. So I've just put it around under my eyes, forehead, nose, and chin. And I'm going to use this brush, which is a 187 from MAC, just to blend it in. Product I'm using is Smashbox, it's called LA Lights, it's amazing, you can use it on your cheeks, your lips, your eyes, it's bronze, it's called Venice Beach Bronze. Indian Wood Pro Longwear Paint Pot, just for the eyes, just sets, it's amazing. I'm going to use a 217 brush from MAC and just pick some of the product up and then tap some off the back of your hand and then just on the lid. I'm going to use this brush, it's a Crayolan brush, I love it for going under the lash line and I'm just going to scoop this product up. Hi guys, um, I'm back. I'm going to do the 1950s red lip black tip look. I'm still, I've still got the same base on from the beach look that I did, which was the Clinique foundation and concealer in one, and the Smashbox um, like multiple stick, which you can use on your cheeks, lips, eyes, wherever you need to. Um, so I've got those on already, and I've also got the Mac eyeshadow Indian Wood. Yep, Indian Wood Pro Longwear Paint Pot on my eyelids and also mascara. So I'm going to enhance all of that now. Here we go. Um, for my eyeshadow, I've got this oh, dream palette right there. I love it. It's Charlotte Tilbury, the Golden Goddess. It's amazing. So I'm going to use those colours. So I'm going to use my 239 from MAC, my 224, my 224, 224, 224 from MAC and a 217, three favorite brushes. This, this is all you need really. I'm gonna pop the first color on, mm -hmm. which is, these palettes are amazing, these Charlotte Tilbury ones, because she numbers them, one, two, three, four. And they are pure decadence, I love them. Because um, they're beautiful products, I love the packaging, and also I love the fact that Charlotte Tilbury has numbered you know, each eyeshadow in what your order to use them in so one is prime two is enhance three is smoke and four is pop 
So it kind of gives you like the outlay in which you should use them. So I'm going to use number one, which is this. I'm going to go under the brow bone. Use the 217, number two, and just kind of dusting off. And then shade three. So, so smoke, so. I'm going to take the 239, which is a flat brush, so it picks up the product, it holds it firm, and then you can really direct where you're going to put the product. So I'm going to run it just along my upper lash line. With my all time favourite 224 from MAC Blend. So in circular motions, just along that um, socket line, just blending those three colours together there. Continuously moving, small circular motions into the corner of the eye. And then I'm going to use the fourth colour, sorry, again with the 239, to pop and take it underneath on the lower lash line. So another good tip is to use a tissue, just to, because we've already done the base, so. My eyeshadow. I'm going to move on to the eyebrows. <clears throat> I'm using this palette from MAC. They're pre made up, they're already they're done. I think they're amazing. This is the warm neutral palette. So I'm going to use a combination of Dance in the Dark, which is a really dark, really dark. I don't know if you can even see that, but it's like a really, really dark chocolate espresso kind of colour. Um, mixed in with a little bit of brulee. I'm going to use my angle brush from MAC, which is a 266. I've had this particular one for so many years, I'm so attached to it, I love it. So I'm going to use some of the dark mixed in, just a little bit there. I really want to make my brows really quite strong for this look. And then using that flat angle that you've got with your brush, just kind of sitting it on the top, bringing it round and down, winging it out, or winging it down, I should say. And I've brought it to the, to the corner of the eye, so to there. So.
Ta -da, brows. Right, okay. Now for the black tick. So I'm using this Illusion brush by Charles Fox. It's like a really super fine line for this black tick. So, and I'm also using Coriolan Cream Liner in Ebony. I'm, I'm loving it. It's quite hard to get off, which is a good thing, I guess, because it stays on while you're out. So, this is a bit naughty, but I'm going to use the back of my hand as a palette. Look down. So, when you're doing eyeliner for the first time, or while you're sort of building up confidence in, you know, doing a one-stroke eyeline, and just kind of do a dot to dot version of it. So just kind of really lightly connect the dots. Also use your lower lash line as your tick. So come up from here and then use that as a guide. So I'm using false lashes and just popping some glue on to um, let it go tacky before I apply it. I've put a bit of a spin on this 50s look because I've kind of made the eyes a little bit darker and use shimmer because the 50s are very matte. So I'm going in with powder now just to dull down that beachy bronze look. So the powder I used the poor professional I love it it's from benefit it's brilliant I love it love it take shine away
doing this actually really want to make really wants to make me go out. I was so near doing this, showing you guys. Okay, so I've lined the majority of my lip with Ruby Woo from MAC. Um, I always line my whole lip, more or less. I think it makes the lipstick last for longer, keeps it on, obviously stops the line from bleeding. Um, yeah, and Ruby Woo, classic. They've turned that into a liner. Happy days. Right, okay, um, this from Clinique. I've not used this yet. Brand new from Clinique. It's called Passion Pop. Lip colour and primer, rouge intense and base. Ooh, just straight from the stick onto the lip brush from MAC. You guessed it. I've got a bit of a MAC brush obsession. So, and then just going all over. Mm. Ooh. Lovely, that is nice. There's a lot of pouting going on. <laughs> 